Hi there, I'm Mindy Kinnis, and you're watching Kinnis Connection. This week I wanted to talk about praying rain. Now, I first heard this story from Greg Braden, and I wanted to pass it on to you. He tells the story of a Native American friend of his asking him to accompany him to go pray rain. So they hike up into the mountains, and they come to this ancient circle of stones. And what Greg's friend does, he takes off his shoes, he goes and stands in the middle of the circle, and then in less than a minute, he comes out and he's like, all right, let's go, we're done. And Greg's like, wait a minute, what? Like, I thought you were going to pray for rain. And his friend stopped him and corrected him, and he said, no, we pray rain. Because if we're constantly praying for something, that alone could be the barrier between us and it, whatever we're praying for. So we just pray rain. And he said, what I did when I went into that circle was I felt the feelings of what it would be like to squish my toes in the mud after so much rain in my village. And I smelled the rain and I felt it on my skin. And that, to him, was praying rain. So what does this have to do with you and I? The imagination is the most powerful thing that we've got to work with. And if we can pray health, or pray wealth, or pray romance, or you know anything else that we typically would think of praying for, what would it be like to just imagine that? What would it be like to feel the feelings of wealth and health and romance and you know whatever it whatever else it is in your life that you're wanting? Now we know based on the five senses I talked about a couple weeks ago. I did a talk on mindfulness and just using your five senses to really become centered and present and grounded in the current moment. And you can actually do the same thing. I'm going to use rain as an example, but like I said, you can enter, you know, you can put in anything that you're wanting in your life. Let's say you're going to pray rain. What does it smell like? What does it look like? What does it feel like? You know, what is the taste? And beyond that, what's the emotion that you feel if if your land was in a drought and suddenly there's this pouring rain out of the sky? What's that exuberance or that joy or that gratitude feel like? And the more you can get to that feeling, the more the rain comes. <laughs> you know that with Olympic athletes, if they're going to, say, run a race in their mind, the same neurons are firing within their brain as if they were actually running the real race. So if we can gather together the senses and the emotions, the feelings of rain or of anything else in our life, that then is the power of manifestation. That then is, you know, pulling forth that gratitude, that joy, that excitement, that, you know, all of that good feeling to create it in your life. So, next time you are praying for something, Think of prayer as a vibration and ultimately just pray that thing or pray that emotion or whatever it is. So try that this week. Let me know how it goes. As always, I'd love to hear from you. You can send your comments, suggestions, questions to mindy at kinniscoaching.com or just visit my website kinniscoaching.com. Thanks so much and until next time, live your dream, rock your life.